Hello everybody, my name is Lewis. Thank you ever so much for clicking on this video and on today's episode of What on Earth Am I Doing With My Life? I am going to try and teach you how to play the guitar part that, that I, I wrote and played for myself and Dodie's version of Plans by Oh Wonder, one of my favorite songs in the world. Um, first off, I wanna make this as quick and, and precise as possible, um, but I'm not gonna skim over anything. So I, I'm going to try and make this helpful for everybody, you know, from the person who's just picked up a guitar to the person who's been playing for years. So I apologize if I stick on a point for a bit too long, um, and I apologize if I skim over it a bit too fast, but please feel free to pause and skip and, and do whatever you need to do to, to make this as effective as it can be for you. The most effective way that I found I learn most things, but in particular guitar, was to watch somebody play it and then replicate it. And so that's what I'm going to try and achieve here. Um, but before I do that, I just wanna say a massive thank you to everybody who's stuck around after that cover. Uh, it means a great deal to me that the cover did so well for my channel. You know, I, I have like a dead YouTube channel, so... <laughs> well, no, that's unfair to say that, but I, I'm an oldie, you know, and I, I fell out of the loop a little bit, and, and it's something I will always regret. But that video is on like 81,000 views at the time that I, I record this in like two weeks, which is just nuts for me, and like 11,000 likes, which is crazy. So I really do thank you for, for that. And, and if you stuck around, thank you. I really appreciate you. I know I gained like something like two and a half thousand subscribers as well. Nuts. Thank you so much. Second of all, I must apologize for the quality of this video. Our internet went out like two weeks ago and it's still not 100%. And I'm unable to upload from my computer because the speeds are so slow. So I'm recording this on my uh, phone at the moment. So I apologize for that. Anyway, let's get into it. So, straight off the bat, my setup, a lot of people ask for this, is a Martin 0015M. This is the mahogany, uh, kind of slightly smaller than your standard acoustic guitar size. Um, it's beautiful, I love this guitar. I, have, I own about four of these, actually, um, because, mostly because the airports keep breaking them. Um, <laughs> but they, they each have their own job, and, and I love them to bits, and uh, yeah. So that's the guitar. The strings are Elixir strings. They're, they're the only strings I've ever used. They're amazing and I really hope they sponsor me one day because I spend a fortune <laughs> on their strings. Um, but they're Elixir strings. These are the custom light gauge. So they, are, they run from 52 to 11. Uh, th those are the gauges of the strings. And the reason I do that is because the, the mahogany, every mahogany guitar really um, has, a, has a real boost in the low mids uh, sounds, you know, and the, the brightness uh, of these particular elixir strings, the, the custom light, the lighter gauge, helps kind of sprinkle a bit of beautifulness, litty, on top of that. And, and so that's what I do that for. That's why I do that. The tuning of the guitar is slightly different as well. I am tuned to C, G, C, F, G, C. Um, the reason I've done this is because Josephine has this incredible talent for creating the most colorful chords and, uh, and it's brilliant. It's something I'm forever jealous, you know, of her for being able to do that. And I was ever so fortunate that to have Josephine play piano and also um, arranged the strings for my second record and uh, Anthony actually produced it as well, which is really cool. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I, I'm, it's an incredible talent and, and I mess messaged Josephine before doing this cover and, and asked for the chords of the song and she very politely sent them over. So I wanted to pay homage to her and her colorful chords by changing the tuning a bit and, and just being a bit more creative with it. And I had a load of fun doing that, so I hope you'll have fun replicating it. Also, so C, G, C, F, G, C is the tuning. The first chord is a C, C major, but a, a version of a C. And the way I'm playing this and the way I'll, I'll describe all of the chords is from top to bottom. So that's open, five, seven, seven, open, open, C. And then we go to an F which all I do there is I shift my index finger from uh, just the second string and I bar 
the first and second string. So now it's five, five, seven, seven, open, open. And that's basically uh, probably like 80% of the song I made up from those chords. And all it is is C, F, F, C. And that is the intro and the verses and the outro. <coughs> Excuse me. Also in that version, I kind of freestyled a little riff over the top, which if you wanted to play that, uh, it's just, uh, so, C, it comes the second time around, F, C, and then the riff is just this. So all I'm doing there is I'm, I'm constantly playing this, this top string and the second string, and I'm going five, and I'm sliding up to seven, and then I'm hammering onto nine, and then what I'm doing is I'm going back to the F shape, but I'm keeping the, um, my finger on the second string. And I'm hammering and pulling off, sorry, seven to five. And the, the rhythm that I'm doing that is I want it to go burnum, burnum, burnum. So there's a little pause. And that's, and that's how I, I play that riff. And then I just go, uh, F to C, sorry. <coughs> and that's it. And then to the verse. Made a home in a basement. Didn't think that I need a lot. And it just carries on like that. And what I like to do is every now and then, I don't like to do it too often. You could have too much of a good thing in music. I like to change uh, the shapes of the chords just, just ever so slightly. So uh, the third time in the verse, I'll go... I go open nine seven nine open open with that same rhythm from the the intro um, riff if you remember that the same rhythm in my head so I'm going beautiful singing there and I, again sorry that's open nine seven nine open open and then the F is five 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 four open open same chords if. You don't have to do that. You can just keep playing uh, these. It's exactly the same. But I like to just sprinkle a little bit of variation in there every now and then. <coughs> it keeps it exciting for us, you know? Um, and then that's the verses. And then we go into the pre-chorus, which is that F shape again. Five, 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 four, open, open. I don't know where the money goes. Up to an A minor, which is nine, nine, seven, seven, open, open. Oh, oh, can't hit that open. But yeah, that's it. There you go. Um, 9977 open, open. You could also, if you, have, if you struggle getting there, you can play it as you would a kind of a B minor uh, shape <laughs> uh, in standard tuning, which is muted, two, four, two, five, two. That's the same thing. If, you, if you're more comfortable with bar chords. So A minor and then to a G in the pre-chorus, which is the same uh, chord shape of the F, five, 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 four, open, open, but I slide up to the seven. So that's the G. So again. I don't know where the money goes. I get broke as a city goes. It shines bright as I sink down low. So that's that, and that's the pre, and then we go to the chorus, which is the F again. But then we go to a D minor, and it's the last chord I'll introduce this time, which is basically two, 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 open, open, open. Well, I've got plans to get to you. And that's a slightly pushed um, rhythm as well. well. I've got plans to get to you. To that G, you know, which is the F slid up to again. Seven, 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 five, open, open. Well, I've got plans to get to you. No, don't you know? And that's it. That's everything, basically. Uh, the little riff that Dodi pl plays, uh, you're able to do if you'd like to. But I found it impossible to, to be able to play that riff and keep the rhythm that, that I'd like on the guitar. But if you wanted to, that is... Uh, the seventh fret on the on the fourth string, and then seven on the third, and then you hammer onto the ninth on the third, and then you play the ninth on the second. And 
you can if you try and get that in, but it's, it's very difficult to maintain the rhythm and, and I'm trash, so I'm unable to do it. Uh, but that's basically everything. I hope I haven't gone too fast over this. I, I just wanted to make this as short as possible because I hate those tutorials on YouTube that it's like, hey guys, this is how you do it, but they tell you in the last three minutes. I didn't want it to be that. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then for the outro, I just played the intro and the verse chords, but I, we crescendo ever so slightly to the, to the very end, which is something that we decided on doing. You don't have to do that if, if you didn't want to. It just sounds so beautiful with Dodie's voice and, and the Barry Uke. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped. Please, if, if you'd like to know anything else or, or if I completely missed something, please remind me in the comments. Uh, I'll be sure to, to respond if, if I can. Thank you so much for sticking around for this long. I really appreciate you. I hope this helped. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. Give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to. And uh, thank you, everybody. I'll upload videos again when, when we have internet. I promise. I promise. Love you very much. Thank you.